And as we look at the numbers that Derek Jeter has put up in the postseason, he's got the five World Series rings. He was the MVP of the 2000 and World Series. That homer we just saw, he was called Mr. November after that. But Derek, I want to get back to the beginning. You've talked about how when you were a little kid, you told your parents, when I grow up, I'm going to play shortstop for the Yankees. What gave you the confidence and belief that you could get to that point? Uh, they did. You know, I think they were the ones that were very supportive of me um, growing up. And, you know, they, they, they always said that uh, you, you could reach any goal if you work hard at it. I mean, yeah, I had a lot of luck as well. You know, you got to get drafted by the team and then hopefully stay with them throughout the course of the years. But, um, yeah, my family has been very supportive. Derek, was there ever a point along the way where you doubted yourself? Did you ever, when you were younger, think that you would actually get to this point right now? Well, there's always doubt. You know, I remember my first year, and I think I hit 202 in minor leagues and rookie ball. And next year, I made 56 errors. So, yeah, there's always times when you when you doubt, but I think that's when you surround yourself with people that are going to be positive and support you, and and you can uh, overcome those things. As we've walked around the clubhouse for the last week since you made this announcement, your teammates, team executives, they're talking about your class, professionalism, and everyone seems to have their own Derek Jeter story. When that trickles back to you about what others feel about you, how, how meaningful is that to you? Uh, anytime it comes from your peers and people that you work with, uh, it makes you feel good. You know, you, you try to handle yourself the right way. You try to work hard. You try to lead by example. Um, I've tried to do those things, and but uh, it never gets old when you hear it from from teammates and and, and peers. And uh, yeah, I appreciate everything that they've said. Derek, you've been very clear. You still have this season to play, mm -hmm. but when that time finally comes and you walk off the field for the last time, what's going to be the toughest about walking away? Well, first of all, let's let's clarify something. I, you know, I thought Mo's Mo's last year was was. I mean, it was wonderful to be a part of it. But I missed most of it. But at the end, it was it was great. He got emotional. He walked off the field. But but you know, he knew that that was his last time walking off the field. You know, our job this year is to get to the playoffs and and not really have something like that happen. So hopefully. I won't know when the last game is, and hopefully it'll be after we win a, win a World Series. You said you couldn't pinpoint the exact date, but around what time did retirement seem as if it was going to suit you after 2014? Was it after a conversation with your mom and dad? Did, it, did a friend say something that really resonated with you? Well, I'd have to say the thought of retirement crossed my mind because, you know, this, that's why I said it's kind of awkward being here because I'm not retired. I still got to play, but the thought of retirement you know, probably last year after, maybe after I broke my ankle a second time, I can't give you the date. And then I worked hard to come back and then I had pulled my quad and I worked hard and I pulled my calf. And I think that's when the thoughts start coming. But um, once again, I'm not retiring because of health. You know, I'm retiring because I feel as though, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've played long enough once this year is over with and, and um, you know, I expect to have a good year. How are you expecting fans to react and fans to embrace you as you go throughout this spring training and really the course of the 2014 season? That's a tough question, you know, because fans have always treated me good, you know. So, um, you know, the fans are why we play. We have the greatest fans in the world. Even the fans that aren't Yankee fans, I think they, they appreciate us when we come into town. Um, but, you know, I, I really don't know. I can't answer that question. Um, I'm going to try to have fun each and every day um, when I'm out there playing, and uh, you know we'll see what happens. You were asked during the press conference about being grouped with Ruth, Garrick, Mantle, and DiMaggio, and you said you don't want to be grouped with those people, even though we're all going to do it. But what do you want your legacy to be? You've got one more year to add to that legacy. When someone talks about Derek Jeter 20 years from now, what would you like them to say? No, I, like some of the things I said up there, you know, I, I tried to have respect for for everyone that I played with, uh, everyone I played for, uh, the organization, the fans, um, my opponents. You know, I I try to have respect for everyone. So um, respectful is good, but uh, you know, being a Yankee is important to me, and, and it's always been important to me. And I've always said from day one, it's the only place I want to play, and I've been fortunate to to have the opportunity to. Uh, finish my career here in New York. You've said from the first year you've been up here with the Yankees and play, your number one goal is to win a championship. Mm -hmm. But knowing that this is your last year, are there any personal goals you hope to accomplish this year as well? See, that's always been a personal goal too. You know, my personal goals are the same as the team goals, and that's the win. And um, it's always been that way. I, I was spoiled to win early on, win a lot early on, and it took a while and showed everyone how difficult it is to win. And, and uh, But my personal and the team goals are exactly the same. In the message that you put out on Facebook, you said that you're going to soak up every moment this season. 
Has that already started on, on the ride here today? Were you already thinking about, okay, I'm going to get a lot of questions. I'm going to see some of my teammates for the first time and get on the field for the first time. Has all that begun already? Yeah, it has. I mean, it started with before I wrote the message, you know, it's it me sitting around and, and answering some questions that I had and, and uh, writing it all down. I mean, that's, that's how it started. So I'm going to continue and I'm going to try to enjoy the season as much as I can. Um, but still, it's not going to take away from what our job is. But, uh, yeah, obviously going to and from games and interaction with people, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to remember it. I have to imagine when you posted that message, you received a ton of feedback from family, friends, et cetera. Any of that that you'd like to share from some friends maybe uh, that reached out to you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's all been positive. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, when your closest friends and family, I joked in the message how, you know, my, my dad and my mom for years have been saying that they've played each and every game with me. And, uh, you know, they're, they're right now on vacation because they got to get ready for the season. So I, I think they're, they're ready to call it a career as well. But uh, your, your family and friends, I mean, these are the people that know how hard you work and, and they know how difficult it is. And, and uh, I think they're happy for me. So if Dorothy and Charles are playing every game with you in 2014, what are the expectations? What would you like to see happen for yourself on the field and for the team, obviously? Same thing. You know, same thing that I expect out of myself every year. Um, that's why I was quick to point out this has nothing to do with how I feel physically because I feel great right now and, and um, you know I, I just feel like this is the time just, I want to do some other things um, but the expectation level from from myself is to go out there and be the same player I've always been. As far as the team is concerned a lot of new faces now in this clubhouse so what do you think of the offseason acquisitions? Yeah it's 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 we've well, we always do it. You know what I mean? Uh, our ownership is, has been great throughout the years, has given us an opportunity to win and surrounding all of us with, with great players. And um, we have a lot of new guys. Uh, I look forward to getting an opportunity to get to know them. But uh, I think it's going to be an exciting summer. It's, 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 um, it usually is.